diamonds it's Shaniqua Stevens and welcome to my channel where I show you the ins and outs of what it means to be an entrepreneur and in today's video I'm going to be demonstrating and showing you all how to set up for a pop-up shop these are just some basic things that you can take with you when you're getting ready to do your first pop-up these are good tips for beginners of course you can tailor them you can add on you can subtract some stuff you don't have to use what I suggest these are just suggestions so yeah let's get right into this video before I get into this video make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to get notified every time I upload turning your ideas into a successful online business can be hard especially if you don't know where to start or where to continue in your business but don't worry I'll provide you with the proper tools to build a loyal clientele <laughs> First, what you want to do is set up your table. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be using this a blanket right here, but of course you can get some fabric from Joann's. Of course, before your event, you want to make sure all of your electronics that you're going to be using for your event are charged. So that's first. So we're going to go ahead and put this to the side until we need to use it. To set up your table, you're going to want to first lay out your fabric and I'll definitely insert some pictures I think for my first event I had some glitter it was silver on my table you always want to make sure that it's longer in the front so if you need to put stuff under your table you can and it'll still look professional you also want to make sure that your fabric looks professional so always have a lint roller roll out the fabric See all that? After you put your table out, you want to make sure that it looks presentable. You go with your color schemes. My color schemes for my business are pink, black, white, a hint of blue. So it has like a travel, tropical vibe to it. So just putting these little napkin placeholders down. You can find whatever you want to put down. It just adds an extra touch to your table and catches the eye. When you're at a pop-up shop, you don't wanna bring your whole entire inventory. You wanna pick two or three specific items and then you can have a different variety of those two or three items. I wanna just focus on my hand sanitizer sprays. I'll get like two or three different scents of the hand sanitizer sprays. You don't wanna give your customers too many options because then they'll be like overwhelmed and they won't know what to choose. Put these. Any type of liquid or beauty product that you want them to be able to try before they buy, make sure you have a try me bottle. A bottle that says try me like a sticker. So one of these will be used for the sample. And you always want to face your um, product towards the customers so that they can see what it is. I also have my masks. Now I could do my mask and then have different colors. If I wanted to, I could be a little extra. I could put a little napkin thingy right here just to jazz it up a little bit. Real cute, real simple, not too overwhelming. I'm gonna put a try me bottle right here. Make sure that you have a sticker on it that says try me. Let your customers know how they can pay. Um, I probably would add like cash, like cash app sticker right here or cash. Um, you can also have a sign on your table for your products, how much your products are so they'll know when they walk up. So I would put this right here. This is used for Square and you can plug it into your phone. If you have a newer iPhone, you'll have to get an extension to plug this in. And this one is PayPal. You use this specifically for PayPal. You can use these for any card transactions. You just have to download the Square app. Now, if you have somebody with you, it's good to have at least two. So if you're taking PayPal payments, the other person can probably 
process them in your Square account. If they purchase something, you can put it in a gift box and give it to them. You can also do bags, like little bags that they can carry. But I like to be a little bit extra for my customers. I want them to feel like they're getting a gift. So what I would do, I'll say thanks for shopping with us. Um, Say for instance, someone was to buy two of my masks, I'll put it in here, make it look real cute. And fold it. And these boxes I got from Walmart. They're like pastry boxes, but you can use them for your products as well. So that's real cute. You could put it like a thank you card or a business card. I would just have these ready and waiting at, on the table. Or you can put them under the table if you don't want it to be a part of your aesthetic, your table aesthetic. So I just like to display, you know, just for aesthetic reasons cute little gift boxes so that's that we can also give them these type of thank you cards if you want custom logo stickers or thank you stickers I actually make them on my website at JLS Donna Boutique so yes and these are just some extra stickers you always want to bring extra these could be more cards that people can pick up I would get a money bag. So specifically, I like this money bag because it has hoops and I can put it on me, keep the money close to me, and give them change. Again, when you go to pop-up shops or your first pop-up, you wanna make sure you have change on you in case somebody comes to your table and says, do you have change for a 20? always have money on you so you can give someone change i would have at least 40 dollars of change like 20s fives ones money bag and you're going to keep this either at the center of your table because you're going to be standing on this side of the table so you can keep it like maybe behind the gift boxes you can conceal it or you can put it on your hip whatever works for you and I'll definitely show you all like my whole setup. You don't want to have too much stuff on your table. You want to make sure it's clear and not too much. Again, simple is better. At events like this, you want to make sure if someone doesn't buy from you, you still turn them into a potential customer. Create a sign up form. This is just an example. Um, this wouldn't be the specific one that I would use for my event. I would tailor my landing page to my event. Like, welcome, thank you for visiting my table. I have more videos up about landing pages, how to get potential customers, how to create your own database of customers so you won't rely on social media. All that good stuff, I'll put it in the card on the screen. Email address, phone number, and name of the potential customer, your client. You can have this up on the screen, but if you don't want everybody touching your computer or you want to be able to uh, let people use your computer along with their phone, you can create a QR code where if they scan it, it'll come up on their phone and they can sign up like that and you'll get a notification once they sign up. This is a QR code and when they scan it with either Snapchat or their iPhone, it'll take them to your sign up page. Now on my thank you card, this QR code takes them to my website. Again, you wanna create a sign up form so even if they don't purchase from you, you can still 
have them as a potential customer. You can send them emails, you can send them weekly newsletters, promotions, all that because you have their information. Now, when you're doing things like this, the easiest way to get someone to sign up is to give them something free. Now, this sign up form has a link with it. So it could be a digital product. When they put their information into that form, it brings up a PDF. Now, if you don't wanna do digital and you wanna go with a physical product, you can have them sign up. And then once you get the notification to your phone that they signed up, you can give them a free product. Now, these are my um, diamond headbands. They're silk headbands that lay down your edges. These are from when I first started my business. I, they have a different logo on it. It's not actually a logo, it's just my name. So it's still my business, JLS Diamond Boutique on it, but I don't use these anymore. I wanna get more with my current logo on them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use these as freebies. So when they sign up and I get the notification, they can get a free silk head. This is my basic setup. You want to keep a receipt of all your cash transactions. So you can create like, you have a notebook of paper. It can be simple like that, or you can create your own form. It'll have their name, what they bought, amount, just so you can keep track of all your transactions. This is something simple. You don't have to keep that on your table for display. Customers that do purchase from you, the day of your pop-up shop, you wanna document that. You wanna show your customers. So I would suggest getting a tripod, like how you all are standing up on the tripod. Um, I also have this, which is a clicker. So you don't have to be, you can connect it to your phone and you don't have to be like on your phone. You connect it Bluetooth and stand away from your phone and tell your customers to look at the camera and you press this button right here at the bottom and it takes the picture. That's if you don't have a photographer for your pop-up shop. Again, I got this from Amazon. It'll be listed in the description box below. You can also get tripods off of Amazon. So I would keep this on me. It has this little convenient thing where you can like my wrist and that's how you have it. This is what the table would look like. Very simple, but cute. Catches my customer's attention. I could put another cloth up under to add more color in this section if I wanted to. Yeah, this is just a basic setup. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, let me know if you want more videos like this. Um, I wanna help you all with your businesses in any way possible, so yeah.